And I welcome you back to the Debrinic channel and today we are talking about Lake Mead, Lake Powell and we will be talking about the Colorado in depth today. There's a lot of precipitation coming to Colorado. We are going to go out there. We're going to check the snowpack. We're going to check the depth of the snow and we have a lot to cover. So and before I forget if you really like this content and you're really into it and you think it's great at the end of the video please give it a thumbs up and if you think that's awesome and you haven't already I know many of you have, but if you haven't, please consider subscribing. It helps the algorithm. It helps you guys know exactly when I post. Hit the bell icon as well if possible. And that helps the algorithm. It helps me. It helps you. It helps everybody see this content. It's very important. There's 50 million people. I only have a small 21,000 plus people that enjoy my content. And it helps get that out to the people that don't regularly see my videos. So with that being said, let's roll right over to windy.com. And here we are into Colorado for the next 10 days and you can see they need some snow in case you were wondering I did take a little sneak peek a bit ago and they are actually down but we'll talk about that in a minute here is your current snow precipitation forecast for the next 10 days they're talking about anywhere between 11 to 9 inches here in the middle of Colorado right here as we scoot in you're talking 11 0.4 over here by Aspen 11.7 12.6 go over here to Glenwood Springs 7.9 over here to Vail 8.1 we come up here to Oak Crest 6.7 and you get the gist right along here along the divide 11.3 13.4 Est Park 13.2 and we come up a little bit further here 8.7 so you can see there's going to be a decent swath over here not so much by the green river over here 1.2 up here 7.8 down here 6.4 the colorado is going to need a heck of a lot more than this this is below average for the winter year and this is what is coming precipitation wise and it's not looking very good at all and we will be checking flaming gorge today and we'll be checking lake powell lake mead lake mojave and lake havasu as well we'll be checking all those here in a bit but first i want to go over to the snow depth we'll be looking at the snow depth next as we are here back in windy.com you can see down here they got 60.3 and 44.4 over a veil and glidwood springs got 33 and down here you got 54 and over here you have 51 and it is kind of bleak and it's not very good we come up here to wyoming as well we'll be looking at those and you can see 53.8 and and then we go down here a little bit you have 46.7 so the forecast is not very well up here and the snow depth's not very well as we get closer and closer to spring and this bodes bad for lake powell as it will continue to drop over and over and over it won't come up as much as we were hoping for we were hoping for a lot more precipitation unfortunately that has just not come to pass and i want to go over to the snow depth and check this out here we are in the upper colorado in and here's your averages. Your average for today is 12,704 is your average for today. And it is a deficit at 11,671. And today is February 26, 2022. And the snowpack for today is 92.81% of, of the February 26 average. April 6 is the date of max snowpack and basin-wide snowpack is currently 72.61. So you are are down quite a bit on the average and as a matter of fact on April 6 your average is generally 16,073 and this is your water equivalent so you are down below so this is not a good situation whatsoever here in the snowpack I hope you like my new graph I work pretty hard on it now we're going to go up to Flaming Gorge and see what those water numbers currently are at as we roll over to the Flaming Gorge Reservoir the water levels at the Flaming Gorge is currently 6 6,017.87 feet MSL Friday February 25th 2022 the level is 22.13 feet below full pool of 6,040 and changes since yesterday absolutely the same as it was yesterday zero so let's roll down to Lake Powell and see what those levels currently are at 
Lake Powell water level. The water level at Lake Powell is currently 3,527.51 feet. MSL Friday, February 25th, 2022, 12 a.m. The level is 172.49 feet below full pool of 3,700. The thing has dropped 0.09 feet since yesterday and it continues to fall and fall and fall. And with 72%, you can expect less of a bump than what was in 2022, which was in 2020 where it bumped up just a bit. It's going to be more like 2021, just a small little bump. And that is coming probably right around May. So be ready for that. And let's roll down to Lake Mead and see what is going on down at Lake Mead. Lake Mead water level. The water level at Lake Mead is currently 1,066.72 feet. MSL Saturday, February 26, 2022, 8 a.m. The level is 162.28 feet below full pool of 1,229. Changes since yesterday. Down another 0.7. And we are starting the downward trend. It's going to look like Lake Powell before too long. We could possibly be be at Deadpool by the end of the summer unless something changes dramatically this spring. I got two more lakes to get to. Lake Mojave is next. Lake Mojave water level. The water level for Lake Mojave is 642.28 feet. MSL Saturday, February 26, 2022 at 745 a.m. The level is 4.72 feet below full pool of 647 changes since yesterday. The level has gone down 0.10 feet and it continues to fall as well so let's roll down to lake havasu lake havasu is next lake havasu water level the water level at lake havasu is 447.70 feet msl saturday february 26 2022 7 30 a.m the level is the level is 2.70 feet above full pool of 445 changes since yesterday all the lakes have continued to drop and we are down 0.04 every lake has fallen this day and that is what we got going on with the lakes. 